Okay, so part A said solve the equation 2 log to base 5 of x subtract log to base 5 of 2x equals 2. So the first thing I would do is actually combine the left hand side. So let's do that as a single logarithm. So let's bring the 2 up as a power. So we get log to base 5 of x squared minus, and let's just keep this the same for the second, log to base 5 of 2x equals 2. Now let's combine these two. Remember if you do log a subtract log b, it's log a over b. So it would be log to base 5 of x squared over 2x equals 2. Now what I want to do is I'm going to, uh, I need to make this right hand side log to base 5. So what I'm going to do is let's actually just look at it for a second. So we know we want something to equal 2 because that's what this is. And we want it to be log to base 5. The reason I want it to be log to base 5 is the left hand side is log to base 5. So we just need to figure out what number will go here. Okay, so log to base 5 of something equals 2. Well, that's the power. That's the base number. 5 squared is 25, so it'd be 25. So log to base 5 of 25 is 2. So instead of writing 2, I'm going to write the log to base 5 of 25. So that would be log to base 5 of x squared over 2x equals log to base 5 of 25. I'm now going to get rid of the log to base 5, so that would give me x squared over 2x equals 25. Um, now I just need to solve this, uh, so uh, bringing up the x's, uh, so we're going to get x squared equals 50x. Uh, bring the 50 over, uh, 50x over, so we're going to get x squared minus 50x equals 0. Factorizing x bracket x minus 50 equals 0. And then you're going to get that x equals 0 or x equals 50. But remember, we can't have the log of 0, so that can't be a solution. Actually, we could have divided here. At this point uh, here, you could have written um, x over 2 equals f uh, 25 and just brought that up rather than doing this. I just do this as a bit of a habit because sometimes it's not just 2x. It could be 2x plus 1 or something. Uh, so then our answer would be x equals 50. Okay, next. This time we've got 2 log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of 5x equals 3. So again, let's combine the left-hand side as a single logarithm. So let's bring the 2 up. So we're going to get log to base 2 of x squared minus log to base 2 of 5x equals 3. Okay, let's then combine these two. We've got log a minus log b. So that'll be log of x squared over 5x equals 3. And that's the base 2. Okay, now we've got our right-hand side as 3. We want this to be log to base 2 of x squared over 5x equals log to base 2 of something. So we've got, we want it to be equal to 3. We need it to be log to base 2 of something. Well, 2 cubed is 8. So it would be 8. Log to base 2 of 8 is 3. So we're going to have log to base 2 of 8. So that replaces the 3. Uh, now we just need to solve this. So we get x squared over 5x equals 8. Okay, so we've got x squared over 5x equals 8. So let's bring it up. So we've got x squared equals 40x. Bring that over. So we've got x squared minus 40x equals 0. Factorize. And so we get our solutions x equals 0 or x equals 40. Again, in this situation, because it's log of x, you can't do the log of 0. So our solution would just be x equals 40.